Hey hi what's going on guys welcome to part 5th on CRUD management system guys in this video we're gonna do uh, what we actually wanna do is uh, we're gonna uh, go ahead and we're gonna write uh, the code in order to delete them and that would be guys super duper easy so let's go ahead and create one more method here called delete data here I'm gonna say dot or table name like from which particular table we're gonna delete and the ID like which particular ID we want to delete so here I'm gonna say dollar query will be equals to dollar uh, this link query and here would be you know delete from dollar table name where I dollar ID is equals to dollar ID and here I'm gonna say dollar row count like how many rows have been affected here I'm gonna say dollar query uh, row count okay I believe that's fine and finally I'm gonna return dollar row count okay so we can actually know how many rows have been affected with this delete query so I'm gonna grab it and guys let's go to our file called delete.php out here on the top we're gonna include one more file called in uh, lips slash probably would be delete data.php okay and now we're gonna create this particular file inside our t folder called lips here I'm gonna say delete uh, data dot php okay <coughs> here I'm gonna start with my php tag I'm gonna say if uh, is sit dollar get delete okay now you would be thinking what's this dollar get delete guys don't worry we're gonna you know discuss about it uh, in a moment then we're gonna include our our actual you know class file called class dot manage mm, database dot php and probably here create a new instance of class manage database here I'm gonna say call this particular function call dollar in it delete data okay and for the table name I'm gonna say table name once again hot coding in call users and for the ID I'm gonna make it dollar get ID okay okay guys now the time is to get some action going on so I'm gonna go back to my delete.php file let me give you a demo out here so refresh one more time hit delete.php and guys here it says are you sure you want to delete some value if you will notice out here on the top we have you know a parameter called ID that's equals to one so now we are able to solve the problem for this particular variable ID is equal to dollar get ID now the thing is what is this called dollar get delete so what we're gonna do is uh, probably where is my yes button yes delete where is that button okay uh, it's it's out here so for that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say delete dot PHP okay and then I'm gonna say ID will be equals to PHP echo dollar get ID and I'm gonna say and delete is equals to true okay that's quite simple come back refresh one more time and here I can say are you sure that you want to delete uh, PHP echo dollar ID so I'm gonna say are you sure that you want to delete data uh, for ID that's equals to one okay come back and this needs to be like a dollar get ID so come back refresh here it says are you sure you want to delete data for ID one so let me say yes oh there are a lot of errors so go back refresh it needs to be core okay <coughs> so let's go back one more time refresh hit yes delete everything's fine go back and guys you will notice now we have only three values but the problem is we are not able to you know uh, give a visual feedback to the user whether it's deleted or not so for that inside inside the file called delete data you know I'm gonna uh, make a variable called dollar delete equals to the function that we are calling 
here I'm going to say if dollar delete is equals to equals to one and then I'm going to say echo uh, data deleted successfully okay <coughs> else echo uh, there was a slight problem you must or I believe that's fine or you know what instead of doing echo I'm c I can actually you know create variables so that I can you know provide some stalling to them either so here I'm gonna say dollar error okay and guys come back to the file called delete.php and probably you know probably here I'm gonna say PHP if is set dollar success like that means if there is a variable called success then go ahead and you know echo uh, first you know and the PHP tags echo dollar success okay and in the same way if we have any uh, variable called error uh, I can echo error so guys uh, next thing would be you know uh, what I'm gonna do is you know here I'm gonna say alert success and we have already you know wrote a design for these classes here would be like this and you know inside a P like this and I'm going to end my single quotes out here with a period sign, then a period sign, single quotes once again, and would be the ending of the dev, like this. I believe it's more neat and clean now. We can have some stallings for our errors and for our uh, success messages as well. And there is one more error. This needs to be out here. So what I'm trying to do is here I'm saying if it said dollar success like if a variable dollar success you know exists so I'm gonna you know echo dev with you know a class of alert and alert uh, success and that would be the ending of PHP here in the same way let me copy it paste it here here I'm gonna say error error this side and error this side come back guys refresh this page let's delete the value number four here it says are you sure you want to delete data for id4 yes i want to delete it here it says uh, data deleted successfully so i can go back and i will notice i don't have id2 and 3 out here so guys i believe that's all from this particular video in next video probably we're gonna write some code to insert values or we're gonna write some code to switch tables so i will see you guys next time goodbye